Hey everyone, Green Saliva with another review. And uh, here we have a Marvel Spider-Man, Spider-Man vs. Venom 2-pack. Uh, I found this at Target for like 20, around 22, $22. Uh, and I saw, I saw, because I was like looking for Marvel Legends and they only have Mordo and Wong wherever I go. And uh, I was like, you know, I... I I'll look at the other ones, you know, maybe I'll look at the other uh, toys, see what they got. And I saw a Carnage and Miles Morales two-pack. And I was like, oh, well, okay, that's pretty neat. I wasn't too big on the Carnage, though, but I love Venom. So I was, like, looking through, and I was like, oh, I see, I see Venom. I see Venom right here. So I grabbed it, and I was like, you know what? He looks good. He doesn't have too much movement besides, you know, moving the arms all around uh and then moving the legs but this spider-man i'm looking around he's got a lot of joints here he's got a lot of joints so i'm sure to see he has like a little uh web missile launcher pretty neat though uh and he actually he usually he comes up weird, weird strangely enough but not surprisingly his only two hands here is a grabby hand for the missile and this flip web but a lot of marvel legends have the flip web as like the, the left hand a lot uh but let's open this up see what they look like because i'm actually really excited and here we go they are out of their restraints and uh these guys are pretty neat for for kids toys these guys are pretty neat um we'll look at spider-man first so spider-man comes with this little missile launcher thing there's no button so you i think it's like a flick missile kind of like a how a lot of these uh how the Lego ones used to be. So, it's got some like markings on here. See that? No, no. Well, they got like a web pattern going on. Uh, Spider Man himself. I was, I was actually, I was having a lot of hard time. I was having a huge hard time moving around his, uh, his arms. But I think this is a piece of plastic here. It's in the fucking way. I think that's what it is. Whatever. I'll, I'll I'll mess with that around later. Um, but his arm can move around a bunch. Uh, his head. I, I really like the the, the low look at this figure. Looks really nice. Um, he's got a little piggle in the back if you want to store his missile launcher. Uh, his legs move around a lot. A lot. It's a lot, a lot of movement, and uh, same thing. This arm was pretty stiff too. It's not as bad though. I can move this one around. It's not as bad. This one was the most detestable. Uh, his arms can move out like that. Full rotation. Uh, but he's a really neat figure. He is. He's uh the uh, the Miles Morales one also had uh the same articulation and the uh, possibility from what it looked like. Uh, but the symbiotes, both symbiotes. Ooh, so it's not even because Venom here is a big boy. It seems like both symbiotes didn't get any uh any uh much movement. But they do look. I oh, love the look of this Venom figure. It looks great. I think the head sculpt looks amazing. For a little kid's toy, it does. Uh, spider emblem looks really nice. Same thing on the back. He's got a pig hole as well, so if you wanted to, you can honestly put this on his back. Doesn't go in as well, but you can still put it on his back if you want. Personally, I'm not going to, but uh, there might be more things, like more of the from the toys that you can use to put on his back. He's got toes, but a lot of the uh, recent Venom toys, or just Venom and media in general, has uh, toes. I prefer not to have toes, like over here where you see what anti-Venom, but I think I think he still looks good. His hands look nice. Uh, I think, uh, actually, interestingly enough, while the retro Spider-Man for, uh, retro Venom figure for the Spider-Man wave in the, um, Marvel Legends didn't have the web shooters. This one does. Oh, if it could just show up. There you go. It's it's sculpted. It just isn't painted. But it's there. 
So if you honestly wanted to, if you'd like to touch up on figures, uh, you could just paint that. I, I don't know if I will. I might, I may not, I don't know, I'll not want to paint figures. Uh, never really goes too well for me personally. Um, the Carnage one was, of course, way more slimmer, a, bit, a little bit in between from these two. Um, uh, but I think the other Spider-Man, the Miles Morales one, I think had a, a different weapon, but it could have had the same missile. There you go, there's the web pattern for that. There you go. No. Both these figures are really cool. They are. They might go on my shelf, honestly. Where do I want? I might put Venom on my desk. You might look good on my desk. I don't know. Put them next to Anti Venom. Which, actually, I'm going to be getting the Marvel Select one because this boy, he's an old boy. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got some markings on him. Uh, he might fall over. Uh, he's got some markings on him, so. I'm not saying I'm replacing him, but I'm going to have another one. Um, but isn't it going to be a Marvel Legends? Because it's impossible for me personally to get another one of him. We'll put it in the wrong way. Uh, but for, what, $21, $22? Over $20, a little over $20. You get two really nice figures. They're not a Marvel Legend. So they're not going to be this guy. You know, they're not going to be... No ab crunch, no waist swivel, nothing like that. They're not. Gonna, they're not. Gonna, they're not a Marvel Legend, but for the price, a little over, uh, under the price for a Marvel Legend, you'll get two. Sit down. Two really nice figures. You can put them up on their shelf. You know, play with them if you want. Uh, it'll be great if you have like a child, or you know a child within the family. It'd be a great gift. They like this. I know I like this. I would love this as a kid. I would. Love Spider-Man growing up, and I love Venom growing up, and I still love them both dearly. Um, but these are really two cool figures. They are. Let's put thing in Spider-Man's hand. I'm going to shoot Venom. Actually, we'll do it this way, because you can actually see it. Shoot Venom. Oh, shot the Gundam. <laughs> uh, it can go pretty far. But, uh, yeah, these these are two really neat figures. For the price of, like, under the price of one Marvel Legend. These are two really nice figures. I recommend them. <laughs> they have Saliva's... Uh, which is weird, still weird to say that. Saliva's seal of approval. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.